Okay, we're good then. Let's go. All right. So first, thank you guys for uh, for joining. Obviously, carving out some time to chat with their, uh, with me, and obviously about this. Let's just start. We're gonna try to go in chronological order here. So, Joyo, we're gonna start with you. Obviously, you had a lot of success in your come up with Queso and Moist and the original trio. Just walk us a little bit through like your feelings after that team disbanded. You all kind of went your separate ways, and obviously, you stuck with Moist for a long time. I think it was very clear seeing your tweets about uh leaving moist that they treated you well you really enjoyed uh playing for that org so talk to me a little bit about that from the jump to kind of where we are now i mean after like the original roster like slowly left because well, i Vitura left first and then yeah. me and rice still stuck for like a little bit um mm -hmm. but yeah when we all were like on different teams or like apart i wanted to stay with moist i don't know i trusted them and uh they like, gave me a lot of support. I mean, they picked me up when I, we were... We, I mean, we did do good, but they were still like the one org that like put a lot of trust in us and faith in us. So yeah. I wanted to stick with them. And, uh, I mean, we I, I got a lot of like control like over sure. who we would be able to play with and stuff. And, uh, we just didn't, I, I guess, like, have the pull or like the... Sure. We'd have, we'd have the, we didn't have the aura to get some players that <laughs> I might have wanted, but... Yeah. Like, they, they, there was still, like, some, like, I don't know. Like I, I pretty much just found myself, like, scouting out talent who might be, like, a season, a few, like, splits too early. But, like, I didn't have much else while I'm moist. And, like, I would try and get, like, people, like, I mean, I, I try to get Oski, like, before I'm moist and, like, stuff like that. But it's never seemed to come off. I was always just left with, like, yeah. trying to find talent. Uh, I mean, like, obviously, some of them, like some of the players I played with in the past, like after that, went really good. I mean, Juicy just won a major, but uh, like it was sort of his come up playing with me, and it was like the start of his career, like at the top. So I've never, I don't know, I never really got any like big names or like anything able to join. Yeah. And then yeah, it just got to the point where I don't know, I felt like a change was necessary, and I had uh, Archie and Oski wanted me, probably like the best team that I'll be able to get for a long time. So sure. it just, I, I don't know, my like stuff looked good. It looked possible. So it was like the best choice. Yeah. Well, then we'll rewind a bit and we'll go over to Oski. Um, obviously, a lot of success with the Liquid team. Maybe not getting the victories at the international level that you would have liked to achieve. Um, but still nothing to, you know, nothing to have your head down about. But that team ended up going their separate ways. Obviously, we had some big shakeup in the this extended offseason uh, between last season and this one. Oski, how did you come to the decision to join Oxygen? Uh, <clears throat> I think the main reason was like we didn't really want to stick off the worlds. Yeah. Considering, I mean, Atal like wanted to leave and join KC from like the get go. I think because uh, he's like his English is good, but obviously he prefers speaking French. Right. And uh, once like he kind of told me that, like I started looking because um. I wasn't really a fan of like sticking anymore. To be honest, we played for two years. Sure. Uh, we didn't win a LAN that we like <clears throat> thought we would, we should have. So I don't know. Just I just messaged Archie and I like, spoke to him a lot. And then I just I don't know. I just like chose. I chose quite quickly to be fair. People might say it's, yeah, like, it's a bit dumb, but I mean I don't really care. Right. Just right the right move in my opinion. Well, well, Europe's a. Uh, it's at least from my perspective, it's a little different, obviously, because in a everybody speaks English, and so you just don't have that dynamic at play with all the players here. And so it's always an interesting thing to hear that that is like a piece of the decision-making. Not, obviously not the whole thing, but a piece of the decision-making with rosters and where players go. So um, I'm sure it's a good thing in some uh, situations and, and also can be kind of limiting probably in other situations. Well, let's flip over to Archie then. Archie, been here for a long time at this point. You've rolled yeah. through, I mean, I don't know how many iterations of different rosters, right? Yeah, too many. <laughs> what do you think about what we have just built here? You've got Oski and Joyo. A lot of people consider these some of the best players in the world. Um, give me your initial thoughts right here, and, and what are you thinking about moving forward into this, this next split? Well, I mean, I think, like, we've changed uh, teammates too many times. Like, sure. I kind of wanted to have, like, a, a longer period with a, with a certain team, but it never really happened. Like, certain, like, circumstances, like, not just in-game. Like, people think, like... Roster moves is just in game stuff, like out of game is just as important in my opinion. Um, um, so yeah, I think like now this team is like 
like on paper, like the best roster we've built, um, in my opinion. And yeah. I think it's got the most potential as well to, to do the best yeah. in tournaments. Snasky, you are kind of in between all of this, joining uh, Oxygen whenever EXO came aboard as well. And so, you know, we, we hear Archie's perspective, a lot of turnover here in the org. Do you think that that's anything that you can have an impact on? And then, of course, a similar question to Archie. What are your thoughts with these three talents? Um, you have plenty of experience as a player and a coach now. What are your thoughts with these three talents moving forward and, and, and your chances in Europe and, and abroad? Um, <clears throat> I don't really know if I can have an impact on it. Um, yeah. I, I think a lot of the times it's a, it's a lot more circumstantial than people think. Like, it's a yeah. lot more behind the scenes stuff it's very rarely like a skill issue it is sometimes sure um but a lot of the times it's just like how do you gel outside the game how do you handle losses how do you handle wins even like it and you know some of it comes down to to coaches but i think a lot of it has to come like naturally and i mm -hmm. think that's why like the french has such a you know a strong so many strong teams is because that they're most of them or many of them that are teaming are very naturally friends outside the game and you know that's what we had when we came here with Ixo as well. I, I was the outside on that team, but yeah. Ixo was friends with both with both Oski and Archie, uh, which also made this really tough, right? But you know, and it's the same bringing Joy in. Now we have we have English players that all know each other and has known each other for a long time, and it'll make that part of the game much easier and should you know stabilize the roster a lot more. Yeah. And yeah, the the three individual players on this team is like, you know, possibly very arguably the three best outside the French region in Europe that you can find. Right. So, so there's, there's no real excuse for us now to not really make this work compared to what we had in the past. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think, like you said, very possibly, and, and if not possibly, arguably, uh, the best roster you could build outside of those, those top teams. Well, um, have we had any scrims yet? I know a lot of times roster moves happen before scrims, but have we had any scrims yet? And if we have, how have they gone thus far? I see some grinning over here. Why don't we throw it to Oski first? Eh, I think they've been as good as they can be, to be honest. Yeah. I don't really... I'm not going to name names, obviously, but I don't think we've lost a scrim yet, to be honest. Okay. So like, quite comfortably. Feeling good, one, man. So feeling good, man. That's what I like to hear. We're feeling very good. And, and um, so it's, it's probably safe to assume that you guys all feel pretty comfortable... Like naturally, nobody's having to kind of alter their play style at the moment. Everybody just kind of fits with what they like to do. Yeah, we 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 have like weirdly like this natural synergy. Yeah, for like no reason that we just like know what each other are doing. Especially like I don't know. I feel like our comms are like really good, which just like lets us like know what each other is doing with the players and stuff like that. Archie, I saw you grinning as well. I guess a similar sentiment there. Yeah, it feels good, man. Um, feels uh, feels good. I don't really know what to say. Like, <laughs> it's only it's only the first like four days, so yeah. I can't really speak. Right, like, right. Uh, like, you never know. Like, it's got us, we gotta see what we do in the tournament, bro. Like, I That's don't right. really care about scrims that much. Because yeah. like, I've had scrim, I've had like teams where we just dominate scrims, and then in tournaments when we're not winning. So like, what's what's like, what's the point in talking about scrims? Sure. Well, let, let me ask uh, one more question here, and then we'll see if we can field a couple from the chat here before we go. But, Joyo, London Yo. is a special place, right? Isn't that the it first is, land yeah. that you went to? It's the first land I watched. It's the, first, it's the only land I won. That's right. But yeah, it's very special to me. So what, what, what would it mean to go back to London here to knock out one of these French teams that have had a, a chokehold on the region and really the world and, you know, on the back of a, a big move here, I, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. All eyes are going to be on us. They're going to be looking. Everybody wants to see, can you guys step up and knock one of these top four teams out? What would it mean to you, Joyo, to go back to London and, and rep, rep the team there? I mean, London's like my favorite land, obviously. I mean, it's sentimental in it. Yeah. Like, one there, first one I watched. Uh, but... I mean, you got to keep the, the expectations grounded, you know? Go sure. game by game. Like Archie said as well, like, scrims are just practice, even though they're going well. Got to yeah. keep focused, like, not get complacent, I guess. But, uh, I mean, I'm confident that we, like, have the ability to make London. And yeah. I don't think that when we make London, like, our side should just be on a beat in a French team. Like, we're there to win. So, I think, I like you know, 
I'm confident we have the ability to do it. Just yeah. need to stay focused and like disciplined, and we'll be fine. Stay humble and stay hungry. Mm -hmm. I like that. I, I also, I think that's a great perspective. You know, you're not, you're not. The community may be throwing these narratives of like, can you guys knock off the French? But you guys are not worried about that. You're looking at something greater than that, and and trying to be a team that wins events. And I, I love that. All right, let's see if the chat has any questions. Y'all throw anything for any of the specific players or the full team. Drop it in the chat right now. I've got a couple that I fielded earlier. Joyo, this is for you. Will you dye your hair green? <laughs> uh, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to it. I mean, I, I, I went okay. back to yeah, I went back to brown because uh, my hair was getting quite damaged. I, I had to get a buzz cut, but yeah. um, I don't know. I can sacrifice it again. All right, uh, so the, it's on the table. For the badge, for the badge. Yeah, I'll sure. sacrifice it for the badge. Okay, it's on the table. We'll see. Um, and then this, I'll just throw it to all three of you guys. Are you a shoes on, socks on, or free the piggies kind of player? Free the piggies. <laughs> Wait, like... That is, like... That's the question. I just copy-pasted. Well, well, socks like... ha no, socks need to be on, like, guaranteed, bro. Well, like, when you're playing... He's crazy about the socks on, bro. <laughs> no, man, the, the NA guys definitely play with no socks, bro. NA guys, I swear NA's, you're like, NA's yeah. dogs out. Yeah. I swear if your like feet are like cold, like your hands also get cold or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, warm hands is like the most important thing, like warming up and stuff. So I mean, yeah. I play with like, I play socks on at least, but I wear like I can wear like slippers or something as well. Yeah. yeah. So get cozy. Yeah. Get cozy. Yeah. That is the most English thing ever. They all wear slippers, by the way. Every time <laughs> they're inside, they all wear slippers. It's so weird. That's funny. Yeah, I, I remember, uh, I think it was Jack that was talking about doubling up on his socks for that reason, what? trying to keep the feet warm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did, he did. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's How see bad here. is your circulation if you just, like, <laughs> double up your socks? <laughs> I mean, the man is sitting down for, like, 16 hours a day. Like, his circulation yeah. must be ruined. <laughs> True. Um, Snasky, we've got a, a, a question here for you. Has your coaching style changed over the different iterations of this, the auction roster or like the different teams that you've been with? Yes, a lot. Um, I think when I, when I came back, like I was on a, on a small hiatus uh, during COVID, I came back during COVID. Uh, and when I came back, I was like, okay, I want to try and do something completely crazy. So when I first got on with uh, Talk Yukio and EXO, I was very strict and I wanted to like make a system, like a full system. Yeah. I was like, if there's coaches in, in football that can do it or soccer for the Americans, if they can do it really strict system, it can work in Rocket League as well. And, you know, gradually as I went along, I was like, okay, it does not quite work. So I became sure. a bit more relaxed and I feel like the, the better the players got and um, yeah, the better players I got to work with, uh, the more relaxed I could be about it and just be like, yeah, you should think about this, but you're free to do what, what you, you right. know, feel in the moment. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's gone from being a, probably the strictest coach you'll ever hear of to, like, nowadays I'm, I'm a lot more open-minded. And I feel like as long as you're on the same page in Rocket League, you can, you can play however you want. Yeah. So the guy's opinion matter a lot more to me now than my own opinion does. So yeah. I'm sort of just like a, uh, like a narrator between the guys, really, try to help them figure it out between each other. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, obviously, the, the different personalities probably impact things as well um, as, like you, like you mentioned, the, um, really the skill level, I yeah, guess. Yeah, for sure. And, and, like, how do you match up against the opponents? I feel like, again, very similar to football or soccer, sure. where, like, if you meet an op opponent that's, like, clearly better than you, you kind of have to take it from defense and work upwards. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're meeting someone that's clearly worse than you, you can kind of you know, start on the offense and then you don't have to worry that much about defense. So it's, um, yeah, it's changed quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I've got a question here, but I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit. If we go major, can we all rock mustaches together? Yes. Let's go. I'm, I'm down, yes. bro. I'm actually Let's go, bro. Come on. <laughs> That's That's all, the, all the parents will keep their kids <laughs> away from me, but I'm down. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> okay um we'll, we'll do we'll do a couple more and then we'll let you guys go uh, i got a question here so we had a couple of and, and obviously you guys know but not everything has been published just yet officially but you've got we made a move here over in europe mm. um looks like magnifico is probably going to make a move and then you've got the rumors of complexity 
um, maybe a couple other Sam teams. I don't know exactly who. And then you've got like Rule One announced their stuff. Do you think that um, are there any moves that like caught your eye that you think has really elevated a team? Is there anything that are, are you guys tapped into it at all, or do you not care? What are your thoughts about this trade window uh, around the world, Archie? I mean, I mean, I don't think any of the trades have like upgraded any other teams like yeah. like crazy to be honest. I mean, the complexity one like. I keep hearing like Diaz is like insane, but like I've never seen him play, so I have no idea about that. And like he QD you for like yeah, he QD you for like a week, and he was like really good individually, but he was yeah. lagging. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, and I mean, that may be it. Like he he's a, a monster on the one v one field, but uh, y'all know like that you, you've got to translate that to threes. So yeah, um, that's definitely the one that's caught my eye as well, though. What about uh, what about over here in Europe? Eh? I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, I low key thing. think that like we're the only team that have like clearly benefited from sure like a trade i guess I th well i think europe also did a really really good job of consolidating in the off season you know those four yeah. teams they shuffled mm -hmm. up some but they did a really good job of consolidating up top um were y'all caught off guard by the, the 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 obviously potential stizzy coming to na yeah it just I feels know. so that's random, huh? random that's like a random that's a random yeah. move bro yeah that's like, a really I random move. I, I, I don't know like how they like start talking but like it's so <laughs> random bro but he's just following in CRR's footsteps. He, he he's if it works, it works, bro. Yeah, if it works, it works. So. I think he would be really good in late, to be honest. Yeah. He might, he might, he might just well, find it like, easier. The, the, the thing is, too, is like, after that one and two spot in North America, it really is wide open. There's like five or six different teams that could grab those final two spots for majors. So, I mean, who knows? Um, let's see. We got any more? Okay. Uh, this will be good. Which one of you three players has the most aura? In terms Oof. of what? In terms of what? Like, yeah, it can I be what? the ref? In terms of what? Can I be the ref? Yeah, it's nasty. No, like, what, what, what's up yeah. aura? What's up aura? What's up aura? What aura? In-game in game, <laughs> in game aura. In-game aura. Oh, we'll, we'll say, okay, we'll say in-game and then out-of-game. Okay, in-game in game is on me. In-game in game, in game, in game, in game, Let's be honest. Ash is going to say it's Out-of-game, it's got, he's going to say it's him. I was, I was not gonna say no. I was just you gonna say in game Amy. I was gonna say in game Amy, bro. Archie says in like, game, it's not him. Okay. But back in back uh, in 2020, nah. but maybe, maybe, but <laughs> no, hell no. I don't know. <laughs> if it got to like 2021, then I'd have you in that as well. To be <laughs> now, now it's like mm, depends what you want, bro. Like, what if we go like, 2016, boys? I'm still going. 2016. Snat back in 1500 <laughs> BC when Snasky was a pro. <laughs> Be not, no, it's Nasky, you have to choose. Nasky, you have to choose because it's like yeah, you're a ref, bro. It's a bit weird. Choose. You got, you got pick. Jesus, you guys are just all right. Snasky, in, the spot in game, like that. in game aura. Who is? Yeah, it? You literally said you wanted to be the ref, bro. I, I, I feel that. like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? I mean, I thought we meant like out the game, like just in general. You know, <laughs> all right, I didn't. Out the game. Okay, go on. I'll go You don't have to say in game. Out of the game. Who's got the most aura? Be both, bro. Out of the game. Joyo, for sure. Oh, yeah, he got, yeah. the, he got, he got the wave going. The wave. <laughs> the wave. Yeah, got, I, I got, he plays so control. innocent. Yeah, yeah. yeah he plays so control. innocent, but he's actually not. Pickle, pickle, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. Pickle can't believe it. Can't no, believe it's it. definitely, it's, it's Archie, it's Archie. It's disgusted, bro. I'm disgusted. I think, it, I think it's Hootie, bro. I think it's Hootie, bro. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Hootie definitely got more than any of us combined. Nah, that's true. Um. Okay, well, I think... Uh. I mean, unless y'all got any stuff that you want to talk about or maybe ask each other or mention or whatever, I think we're good to uh, go. Who, who do you, I want, I want yeah, to ask you yeah. a question. Sure. Is, is the trim ever going to get cut? The hair? Yeah. Is it ever going to be cut? Absolutely. And I actually cut almost 14 inches of hair off uh, early last year. I donated it. The, the, the reason I have long hair is so I can uh, grow it out and then do a donation. Um, they just make wigs out of hair donations for people that you know just different circumstances where they can't grow hair or the sick or something like that so that's why uh that's why i grew it out and i'll probably then i'll probably do like one or two more donations and then i'll probably go buzz cut it's annoying gold. bro it's too much work gold that's fair a big respect what what, what happened you. to the hats i miss the hats i know i know okay so the hats i do love wearing the hats but the problem is it gets hot as hell where i live and so when summer rolls around, I did not want to wear the hats. That's actually why I put the bangs down so I could wear it. You know, I have a style to wear without a hat on. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think about the bangs? Is it crazy? It's a little I bit think it's cold, bro. Yeah. I think it looks cold. It's, it's very hoodie. 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 I think you got to slick it back, bro. I think you got to slick it back. Slick it back? I think you got to slick it back. Slick it back. Cow the dragon, bro. Like, cow the dragon, cool. 
Man's exposing his hairline now. Careful, Hootie. Bro, the thing is, I think we that's gotta be careful. I think that's part that's of why I wanted bad. the bangs because I think the hair is starting to creep back a little bit. No, that's so not bad. It. That's, that's fine. You that's should fine. see Ashi. Ashi's hiding. Bro, Ashi's got like a five head. Bro, he's got a five head. Look at that. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> bro, look. No, but just do do the four. Huh? Four fingers. There you go. Four head. Look. There it is. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, we'll play, bro. We'll play. All the kids are always hiding it now. All right. They gotta embrace it. Gentlemen, wow, I am bro. super excited. Right. Joyo, welcome to the squad. Uh, thank, thank you again you. for making some time to do this. I mean, I know that I'm not alone when I say this. I am so excited to see you guys play this, um, this split. I'll be cheering my heart out. I hope that we uh, qualify for London. Hey, look. The points are heavier in split two. We're still in a good spot. We pop off, we do our thing, you guys, you know, reach the levels that we all believe you can. We find ourselves in London, we find ourselves at the World Championship, OXG on top, baby. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's game. Let's, let's game. Let's, let's game. game. <laughs> let's game. All right, thank you guys. I appreciate it.